Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine and aware of our disclaimer. Today's story is Black Sea. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare triple five at the rate gmail.com. So, let's get started. Amidst the tempestuous waves of the Black Sea, the ship Seafarer's Pride battled against the raging storm. The night was ink black, lit only by occasional bursts of lightning that illuminated the churning expanse of water. Captain Donald Smith, a seasoned seafarer with a salt and pepper beard, shouted orders above the howling wind. His two loyal crew members, Ethan and Amelia, were at his side, their faces etched with determination. They clung desperately to the deck as the ship was tossed and turned by the merciless waves. The salty spray lashed at their faces, stinging their skin as they fought to keep their footing. Lightning crackled across the sky, revealing the towering waves that seemed to rise like monstrous titans before crashing down with bone-shaking force. Despite their valiant efforts, the ship's worn, timbers and strained rigging could no longer endure the relentless assault of the storm. The deafening roar of the waves was soon accompanied by the sickening sound of wood splintering. With a heart-wrenching crunch, the seafarer's pride succumbed to the fury of the storm, its hull colliding against jagged rocks that seemed to materialize from the depths. The impact sent shudders through the vessel, throwing Donald, Ethan, and Amelia off balance. The sensation of being caught in a nightmare gripped them as they struggled to stay afloat in the swirling chaos. The ship groaned and protested, giving its final, mournful cry before being claimed by the relentless sea. Gasping for breath, the trio managed to claw their way to the surface, disoriented and battered. The storm still raged around them, a maelstrom of wind and water that seemed determined to drag them under. With the last ounces of strength, they swam towards a faint glimmer of hope, a nearby island that loomed through the rain and mist. Bruised and broken, they stumbled onto the island's rocky shore, their bodies aching from the ordeal. The storm continued to rage and they huddled together, for warmth and shelter, the stinging memories of their lost comrades, haunting their thoughts. Rain-soaked and shivering, they clung to each other, their spirits as fragile as the remnants of the ship that now lay shattered against the unforgiving rocks. Days turned into weeks and the island's isolation wore heavily on their once defiant spirits. With a dwindling supply of salvaged provisions, they scoured the island for sustenance. Their search yielded meager results, foraging for edible plants and attempting to catch small sea creatures in makeshift traps. Their tongues grew parched from the brackish water, they managed to collect and hunger gnawed at their bellies like a relentless beast. Donald, who had once been the embodiment of leadership, now bore the weight of responsibility for their survival. Ethan's normally jovial demeanor was dimmed by the shadow of uncertainty, and Amelia's unwavering determination wavered as she stared out at the seemingly endless expanse of water that had become their prison. Battling not only the physical challenges of hunger and thirst, but also the psychological strain of their situation, they clung to the flickering flame of hope, praying for rescue. 
and dreaming of returning to the embrace of civilization. Yet, with every passing day, the island seemed to tighten its grip, isolating them further from the world they had known and testing the limits of their endurance. One fateful day, the sun managed to pierce through the veil of dark clouds, casting a feeble light upon the island's shores. With a glimmer of hope in their hearts, Donald, Ethan, and Amelia set out to the shallow waters that hugged the coast, hoping to catch fish for sustenance. The gentle lapping of the waves was a stark contrast to the tempest they had endured, but their cautious optimism was shattered when they spotted a massive shadow lurking beneath the water's surface. As their eyes widened, dread settled like a heavy stone in their stomachs. A massive shark, sleek and ominous, circled nearby, its dorsal fin slicing through the water like a knife. Fear surged through their veins as they realized the peril they were in, trapped between the treacherous sea and a relentless predator. Quickly, their survival instincts kicked in. With adrenaline-fueled determination, they scavenged their surroundings for anything that could serve as a weapon. Pieces of wood, jagged rocks, and even shards of metal were their only defense against the looming threat. Their hearts raced, the drumming beat matching the frenzied pace of their thoughts. The battle was a frenetic blur of splashing water and desperate cries. They lunged and swung, their makeshift weapons clashing against the shark's impenetrable hide. Amelia's right hand bore the sharp sting of a bite as she fought to protect her companions. Ethan's breathless shouts and Donald's fierce roars melded with the pounding of the waves against the shore. In the end, it was a combination of sheer willpower and the element of surprise that turned the tide. As the shark veered away, defeated, but not vanquished, the trio stood battered and bruised, their bodies a testament to their tenacity. Blood, mingled with the seawater, testament to the close call, they had just narrowly escaped. As the weeks stretched into months, their situation grew increasingly dire. The once hearty crew members were now mere shadows of their former selves, their gaunt faces a reflection of the hardships they had endured. The unrelenting sun and ceaseless wind had weathered their skin and the gnawing ache of hunger had hollowed their cheeks. Yet, even in the face of overwhelming odds, their determination to survive remained unbroken. Donald's eyes, once hardened by years of leadership, now held a glimmer of something deeper, a mixture of resilience and vulnerability. Ethan's cheerful demeanor had been replaced by a quiet determination, a fire that burned deep within his soul. And Amelia, who had faced the sharks more with unyielding courage, found her spirit tested by the weight of their circumstances. They huddled together around feeble fires, sharing stories of their lost companions and dreaming of the taste of fresh food and the comforting embrace of loved ones. Their solidarity became their lifeline, a source of strength that sustained them as they navigated the ebb and flow of hope and despair. And through it all, they clung to the promise of one day being rescued, of returning to a world that felt like a distant dream, and of reclaiming the lives that had been torn asunder by the storm's merciless fury. In their darkest moments, as the trio huddled together on the island, their spirits on the brink of surrender, a glimmer of salvation, emerged on the horizon. A passing ship, its sails billowing against the azure sky, caught sight of their makeshift signals, ragged bits of cloth waving, frantically in the breeze. It was a sight that felt like a mirage, an improbable dream forged from their collective longing. Their hearts raced as the ship drew nearer, and the sounds of the waves lapping against the shore were joined by the distant calls of human voices. It was a symphony of hope, a melody that drowned out the echoes of their struggles. As the ship's crew lowered a rescue boat, their hands reached out to help Donald, Ethan, and Amelia climb aboard. With tearful eyes and trembling voices, they recounted their harrowing tale of survival, 
the words, pouring out like a cathartic, release after months of isolation and hardship. The crew of the passing ship, listened in awe, their faces a mixture of admiration and empathy. The trio's story, was one of resilience against insurmountable odds, a testament to the unyielding strength, of the human spirit. Their tale was inspiring, but also heart-wrenching, as the weight of their experiences, was impossible to ignore. On board the ship, they were welcomed with open arms. Warm blankets, hot meals, and reassuring words surrounded them, offering a stark contrast to the desolation they had endured for what felt like an eternity. Yet, as they sailed towards civilization, the journey was bittersweet. The open sea, that had once seemed an impenetrable barrier, now carried them towards a reality they had almost forgotten. The weight of their experiences began to settle in, like an anchor dragging at their souls. The stormy night, the battle with the shark, the days of hunger and illness, these memories, once lived, now threatened to drown them, in a different kind of turmoil. They, had faced the unforgiving power of nature, and their own vulnerabilities, emerging as survivors, but forever marked by the journey's scars. As they, returned to the embrace of loved ones, and the familiarity of society, the trio's physical wounds, began to heal but the emotional ones remained. The stormy night and its aftermath would forever haunt their dreams, a constant reminder of what they had endured. Theirs was a story of triumph over adversity, a tale that showcased the indomitable will to overcome even the most dire of circumstances. And while they had been tested to their limits, they emerged from the ordeal with a newfound appreciation for life's fragility and a deep understanding of the interconnectedness of humanity's struggles and triumphs. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story by leaving a comment. And if you enjoyed the story, please like and share it. Also, subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and turning on the notification option. But for now, goodbye, and see you in the next video, thank you take care, tata.